Hi, Captain Steve for BoatTest.com, and today I am on the Riviera 64 Sport Motor Yacht. This is a yacht that brings a lot of versatility to the table, whether you're going to be cruising, entertaining, or fishing. But most of all, it's a family-oriented yacht, so let's talk about what's going to make the family happy first. First of all, big picture, nice roomy salon with plenty of natural light coming in from these large side windows and the three forward windows, so it just gives it an open and airy feel. That, coupled with the six foot, six inch high overhead, really opens up this space. Opposing seating consists of L-shaped sofas, one to port, one to starboard. There's a nice walnut table with great inlay work and a nice finish. It can be on a high-low pedestal. This one is on fixed pedestals. Ottoman on the other side, this one also has a walnut tray that can go right on top and float from one side to the other. There's storage underneath the ottoman as well. Just at this aft bulkhead, 50 inch flat screen TV on an electric lift, as well as a fusion stereo. And I'd like to see these moved in a different position. It's a little bit awkward when you're sitting in this seat to be leaning against the stereo. The flooring is carpeting in the salon area and that designates a transition between the high traffic vinyl area and the salon. But of course, if you wanna keep the vinyl traffic area going all the way through, you're certainly able to do that. Now, just behind is the galley. The galley starts with Corian countertop. This is a dove finish. Beautiful finish, as a matter of fact. Glass partition just in front. There's a double basin stainless steel sink. The smaller basin holds a garbage disposal. Trash receptacle in the corner, and then a Miele induction cooktop. Happy to see that there's a vent exhausting the fumes up above. Below, there's a convection microwave, dishwasher, beautiful cabinetry with little flip latches to access both the refrigerator and two freezer drawers just below. What I really appreciate about this space is the storage. It's just seemingly everywhere, all over to the sides, the front, above, and even on this back bulkhead. Even more important is the fact that because this galley is between the two social zones on the main deck, the salon up ahead, and then the mezzanine seating just behind, we can have this glass partition easily open up with a gas support strut once it gets to a position where it's halfway up like this, just give it a lift and it latches into position. Now we have seamless integration between the inside and the outside. Across the port, two refrigerated drawers, Corian counter space, wine chiller, more storage below and above the stairs. And always with Riviera, I'm impressed with the level of attention to detail and the fit and finish going on throughout the boat. Like even these stairs, for example, walnut treads with teak on top, a little raised edge, and then the non-skid. Wrapped rails going all the way around. All this that would otherwise be dead space, this angled section is a deep drawer. Wrapped grab rail going across the top of the overhead, and even this small glass partition that separates the galley from the television, that can be backlit. Now the seamless transition we have between the galley and the mezzanine area, this is an elevated area just off the cockpit, and another welcoming social zone. L-shaped seating over to the starboard side wraps around a large and expandable walnut table, again with a gloss finish, Convenient self-draining storage under one of the seats. Directly across, opposing seating. This is bench-style seating, and this can also be pulled out and made into a berth. Refrigeration and a serving area, plus a trash receptacle in the Corian counter. Just above, there's a 32-inch drop-down TV. And all this is under the protection of the extended flying bridge deck, seven feet off of this deck. Now we have another interior entertainment area in the enclosed flying bridge. Let's take a look at that. Well, as I said, this is certainly a welcoming social zone. L-shaped seating to the starboard side wraps around an ottoman. This can also be converted into a berth if we'd like. There's an end table in between this seat and a forward bench seat. Has refrigeration underneath, and I really like that there is a forward bench seat because we can keep the captain company, who's definitely going to be part of our party. Bulkhead right alongside the port side here. 32-inch TV with storage to both sides. 
And we also have another entertainment zone just behind. Mind the four inch step, L-shaped seating over to the starboard side, wrapping around another expandable table with beautiful woodwork. They really do a nice job all in house. Teak decking over to the port hand side, refreshment center with Corey and counter, a sink, refrigeration underneath and storage to both sides. Just behind there's a nice little tray for serving area and notice that it's draining. Underneath area for a life raft. And again, always with the thoughtful touches with Riviera. Look at this in both corners, padded bolsters, 32 inches high, makes a great spot to lean against when you're enjoying everyone's company. Now, as with below, we can make a seamless transition between the inside and the outside by opening this hopper window with a hydraulic lift, latch it into place. And this could be supplementing the ventilation that we get by opening up the sunroof if we want everything closed off, we can climate control the area with 16,000 BTU air conditioning. And still with the thoughtful touches, fit and finish all the way through. Look at this recessed area in the overhead, padded grab rail, walnut surrounding the whole thing and the rail is secured to walnut and beautiful joinery all the way around. And I love how this is so lit with natural light all the way around. And how's this for a thoughtful feature where everyone else would just put a plexiglass door to this stairway and call it a day? Here we can actually close it off with the walnut woodwork. Now let's continue with the social zones on the exterior of the boat. Three nine inch steps lead us to this over 90 square feet of open cockpit space. Great for putting deck chairs in. Storage just ahead and then two hatches lift to expose electric grill and a sink, more storage underneath to the port hand side, still more storage and underneath these two hatches over refrigerated boxes. These will go down to freezing. The controls are right behind. And of course, doors to both port and starboard lead us to the four foot deep swim platform. Now with a blue water capable cruiser like this, it only makes sense that it will have fishing features included. In this case, we've got a large fish box to the back, another one over to the port hand side, live well in the transom, over on the starboard side storage, tackle sorter, and here's a clever use of space, side storage for putting long gas, plus we've got dual rough outriggers that are hydraulically actuated. Now we can access the social zone in the bow from either both sides of the cockpit or a watertight door to the port hand side. Let's take a look. Now this is such a welcoming area to enjoy the sun. Bench seat to port and starboard and then it continues forward with a seat across the stern section. All this wrapping around a table with beverage holders inside and there's still room to put a tender here that can be launched right with this 550 kilogram capacity crane. Now under this port hatch, there's a Fusion stereo remote control. That's in a little bit of an awkward space, but Fusion has an app so you can control the whole stereo system from your phone. Now with a blue water cruiser like this, we're gonna be away from the dock for a long time. That means we need to have premium level accommodations. Let's take a look. We'll start with the full beam master stateroom just aft. Well, beautiful full beam master stateroom. Hull side windows to both port and starboard with opening port lights to add ventilation. Six feet, seven inches of headroom. The berth is center mounted, 60 inches by 76 inches. Beautiful work on this headboard just behind. Soft touch fabric with the walnut going all in between, high gloss. Really nice joinery work. Storage over to the starboard side. Flat surface above. Storage both here and in a hanging locker. At the forward bulkhead, 40 inch flat screen TV, fusion stereo just underneath, and then a settee over on the port hand side with storage alongside. And it's interesting to note that when these portholes are open, they send an alarm to the helm. Now, just behind and to starboard, here's the master head. Includes a walk in shower, vessel sink on top of the Corian counter. Another hull side window with an opening port, storage both above and below. Now this one also has a separate door that leads to a utility room. There's a washer and dryer in there. That utility room can be optioned out for crew space if you want. 
Now the VIP is located fully forward. Now the VIP consists of an island berth, hull side windows to both port and starboard, and storage above. I like to see that. Easy access to both sides of the berth with steps. There's more storage underneath the berth. Headroom six feet five inches, three feet six inches above the berth, and there's additional storage to both port and starboard. To the forward bulkhead, 28 inch flat screen TV, shelf underneath, fusion stereo. Now just over to the starboard side, access to the private ensuite. This one's laid out much like the master was with a walk-in shower, hull side window with an opening port, storage both above and below the vessel sink. Now right outside the stateroom, we have access to the day head. This also has a separate access to the guest stateroom. This consists of twin berths, 73 inches by 25 inches each. There's storage in the middle and storage underneath the berth simply by lifting up. Hull side window again with an opening port light, 24 inch flat screen TV, then a hanging locker just ahead of that, and of course the private access to the day head. And our last day room is just to starboard. This one features twin berths over and under, each one 78 by 21 inches. There's storage right alongside in a hanging locker and storage underneath the night table. The lower berth has a hull side window. Elegant sport boat looks, an outstanding dedication to fit and finish, the ability to transition between several activities, including a nod towards sport fishing. She's also a capable blue water boat. That's in another video, be sure to look for it. For now, however, this is my full features inspection of the 64 Sports Motor Yacht from Riviera. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.